Tony Long says, Jessica Tolson and her father Jason owe for a border collie puppy. Okay, your contract was you were picking up the dog for $500 and you were making three payments. You agreed to that. That's mm -hmm. the contract. So $150 was due on September 20th, and I would assume that you did not make the third and final payment of $200 on the 27th. No. Then you owe her $350 no, for the No, I wanted her to take the dog back. I, she sold me a dog that she, it was supposed to be a friendly puppy uh, that was would get along with my family, a family dog. He was not a family dog. He did not fit in with our family. Ms. Tolson, I want you to listen to me very carefully. And I don't want your father to look quizzical. I want him to put on his listening ears. Do you work? She did at the time. Do you, do you work? I'm talking to you, sir. Do you work? Yes, I work. Great. And do you get paid by check or cash? Check. And how much do you get paid? It depends on how much I work. So you're paid by the hour? Yes. Great. Therefore, you have a contract with your boss. And the contract with your boss is that if you work 10 hours and you're paid $25 an hour, then you get paid $250. That's your contract with him. Not whether he feels like he's got a cold or whether he feels as if he's got a bunion. That's your contract. 10 hours, you get $25 an hour. Your daughter had a contract with the plaintiff. Her contract with the plaintiff for this eight-week-old puppy. If I buy what? a car and it doesn't run, I take it back. Just Does, a there second. was something wrong with the Just dog, a... so we went to take it back. No. Listen yes. to me carefully. First go to college, then go to law school, then pass the bar. What I'm telling you is if you go and buy a car, if you buy a new car, a new car comes with a contract. And the contract usually contains the words lemon law. So that if you buy a car that is actually a lemon, by definition of the law, you are entitled to your money back. But if you buy a car from somebody who advertises on Craigslist, $850 for a car, you give them $850, they give you the car. There's nothing else in writing. That's the contract. You've bought a car, and if the wheels fall off it as you're driving away, you have no recourse. Yeah, we unless, asked for, we no, asked for a family dog. That listen wasn't to what me. we got. She responded listen, to listen my to me. Ad. That's called puffing. This car was driven by a little old lady to the Piggly Wiggly twice a week, and otherwise, it stayed in the garage. Unless that's in a written contract, all you did was buy a car for $8.50. You can have a contract with a dog breeder that says, breeder will take back the dog within one week for any reason. Breeder guarantees health of the dog for 30 days. You didn't have that. Your sole contract was in here, which says, you give me and the puppy. And she responded to my ad telling me that it was a good family dog, which okay, it was Okay, you're not understanding me, so I'm going to tell you, stay in school. I just explained that to your father. This was your contract. Your contract is you get the dog, she gets $500. Now, whether you gave the dog away, sold the dog, is not my business. This is your contract. You owe her $350. That's what you owe. You could shake your head until today, until everything starts to rattle. But that's it. $350. We're done. Thank you. Bye. Wait a minute, ma'am. I also drove to Washington to reclaim the puppy. $350. And you didn't get the puppy. Right, but... Just but for I... my own information. You gave the puppy to somebody else? Yes. Sold mm -hmm. it. We yeah. sold it. We We're gave it. We sold it. We got no money in return they, for that they puppy. They sold the puppy. I'm, and listen to me. We have listen to me. Goodbye. Me. Tape is expensive. I, I spent fuel and a full day's off work on your own. Go claim the puppy. Well, we didn't have the puppy.